My name is Siebert Mitchell. I'm Cranston Morgan. I'm Garth Williams. I'm a father, a married father of two. Um, my daughter is 12, my son is eight. I'm the father of two lovely young ladies, ages 27 and 17. And I'm father of three, one of which is biological. When I got my first child, I was 27 years old. I was impressionable. I, I really uh, certainly wasn't at the zenith of my life. I wasn't even at the middle stages of my life. They were born when I was about 28, a little over 28 for my daughter, and a little over 32 for my son. So it was an interesting phase of my life when I was like, all right, I'm about to turn 30, so I need to really make sure that everything is just right with my life, I suppose. I was working, I completed um, studying at the university, so I was kind of checking all of those usual boxes. So I think I was kind of ready. Well, I was 24, um, just turned 24, just entered the revenue agent training program that we now call Tara. And yes, my first daughter was born. Okay. My most memorable moment as a dad was being able to refer to my son as a father. In other words, being able to wish my own son Happy Father's Day because I'm a granddad. My most memorable moment, there's so many, it's very, it's difficult to, to pick one or two because I have two children, so I have to pick two, right? I would go with when my daughter was, was born <laughs> um, and the first time I held her, I cried, I literally cried. I, I, like, I couldn't hold her the first, like fresh out of, you know, surgery. Um, I had to wait a few more hours, but interestingly, I held her before her mother did. <laughs> so, um, but I cried, I, I cried, I just cried. I couldn't believe that this is a human being that we've been waiting to, you know, to see. Uh, my first child is finally here, and wow, I just lost it. I absolutely lost it. Um, with my son, though, I think my most memorable moment with my son is, again, tied to my daughter, because I remember he got to about, I think, about two, three months old, and we allowed her to hold him. And she cried too. She just had her little brother in her arms, and she's like, okay, Nick, and she was stroking his hair. And to, to, to watch them bond, um, and to watch her like that, looking out for her little brother who she loves so much, um, I think just warmed my heart. And um, it was just all the love and all the emotion that really has just never left me. And I don't think it ever will. I have two very memorable moments and one of them again it relates to that time in 1993 when I had my daughter um, a few seconds after she was born and the second one is when I was there for the birth of my second daughter so, so those are two most memorable moments as a father. So it's not the years in your life that count, it's a life in your years. And even though my father was with me, but for a short period, I learned two main lessons from him. One as it relates to discipline. It is absolutely important for the father to play the disciplinary role in the household, especially as it relates to boys, or as our old time people would say, boy pick me. Secondly, as it relates to integrity, your dad being an individual who instills integrity goes a far way in developing a human being. What I would have learned from my father, <laughs> boy, it could easily be a whole book. It could easily be a whole book, the relationship I had with my father. But the big lesson I would have learned from my father would have been about being supportive, the importance of being supportive. My father was absolutely supportive in so many ways when I was growing up. 
there was one point I did not know that this man was my father. Um, that wasn't revealed to me until I was much older, I think after I finished CXEs. So I'd grow, I would have grown up all my life with him. I had some inclination, I had some idea, but I didn't know until it was made official, like, you know, it was said to me by both my parents that, yeah, daddy is really daddy. But what, what the one consistent thing is his support. He was absolutely supportive. The only thing that he would do is ask if I'm sure about something. But once I'm convicted, once I'm determined, once I've landed on something, then he was 100% behind me. Um, and that, that for me is massive. Um, it's something that I have delivered to my children as well. They know I am with them. I just want to know that, you know, them know what I'm gonna do. Um, but once I make up their mind, yeah, whatever the dream that they have, Daddy's here to make sure that uh, I help you with that dream. I'd like I'd speak about father, father figures in general. Um, what, what I've learned is to ensure that you are there for the children, you know, um, they're physically, um, emotionally available as well for them. Fatherhood is not just about getting a woman pregnant. Any boy, any male can do that. Fatherhood is also just not about what people say mining or picnic. You know, that, that a philanthropist can treat with that. Fatherhood takes you into counseling, into caring, into being a friend into providing a certain level of guidance in being a role model. Fatherhood takes you through different phases. Uh, for me, I, being a grandfather, can remember when my son was just born, can remember how he hollered at birth. I can remember the transitions, him going to school, you know, coming up, to the stage where we are now like brothers and where he is able to say to me quite frankly that it is lessons that I have taught him, lifelong lessons that he is now inculcating into the growth of his own child. So that is of absolute importance and it is imperative that young men be able to adapt those qualities. My advice to current fathers, fathers-to-be, stepfathers, men who are co-parenting. If you adopt, it doesn't matter. If you're a biological dad, my big, big advice to you is always be there for your children. Show up for your children. Show up emotionally for your children. If you have the finances, then definitely show up financially uh, for your children. Encourage them. Show up for your children in more than one way. Also, ensure that your legacy can show up for your children. Ensure that if it's a little business you're starting, then work on that business. Help them to understand how it works and give them the option, at least when they get to a certain age, if they want to follow on or if they want to sell it or participate or not participate. Right? But show up for your children. Ensure that the lessons, I'm going to talk about legacy, it's not always something tangible. You have intangible things like your characteristics, your qualities, the advice you've given to them. Show up for your children so that even after you're gone, if you should leave early in their life or you live to a right old age, they will always remember those memories, the bits of advice, the nuggets, the gems that you share. Show up. They need it. Men know in our society we have a duty to groom and grow the young men coming up around us and not just the young men, we, we, we need to play a role in the young ladies' lives as well so that we can get the society that we want. We all say we want a better society, a kinder, gentler society. So we have to um, you know, make our input where that is concerned. So men, I'm urging you, be there for your kids, be there for your children, be there um, emotionally, financially, be there help them with their homework, um, you know, just be there so that they'll have you as an example going forward. 
to every single father, baby father, husband, adopted father, guardian, uncle, father figure, whatever type of role you as a man play, positive role that you play in the life of a child or children, big up yourself, right? I wish for you a great day overall on Father's Day, but going forward beyond Father's Day, I wish for you long life, great health, and most of all, lots of joy. Let me use this opportunity to say a big shout out to all the fathers, not just within the ministry, but within the entire Jamaica. And when I say fathers, I don't necessarily just mean biological fathers, but persons who have played a father role in the lives of many individuals that will help them to grow and to thrive. To all the fathers, grandfathers like myself, yes, I'm a grandfather. Um, yes, enjoy Father's Day when, when, it, when it comes, it's your special day. And keep on doing what you're doing. Be good fathers.